Okay, so we're going to take photos. Now, photos is something that kind of a lot of women are uh, conscious of. You're going to do the work, so you're going to want to put the photos in. The only reason you would not want to do the photos is for fear of not doing the work. So this is probably the most important part of your entire physical transformation. Now with that said, there's three things that you need to know uh, to take good photos. The first thing, actually, 0 0.1, just make sure you have your printout on the wall, okay? So you, there's links to your printout inside the CMS, uh, but there's also links to your printout inside the membership zone as well. So you shouldn't miss it. If you do miss it, just private message us through workplace chat and we'll give you the link or just point you in the right direction. So that's 0 0.1. Uh, the three things that you need to know to take great photos, uh, first of all, is clothing. So show as much skin as possible. These photos won't be shown anywhere unless your explicit uh, permission has been given. But for your own sake, the more you show, the more you'll see and the more confirmation you'll have that your transformation, your physical one, is on the right track. Yes. It's, a, it's, a, it's the most accurate form of uh, measuring that. Uh, the next thing is position. So when you're taking these th uh, photos, there are three positions. There's front, side, and back. Uh, the position should be nice and relaxed, but not so relaxed that you're slouching. Now, I've seen photos taken terribly uh, where they've had their head cut off, uh, where they've been focused on just one part of the body. You want a shot of the entire body. So the best uh Best practice here is to have somebody take the photo for you uh, and stand directly in front in good light lighting. Like natural lighting. Natural lighting yeah. is the best. Yeah, is the best. Yep. Every time you take it, take it in the exact same spot. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But if you don't have someone who, and you don't want someone to take it, then you can have the video playing, right, to get the still shots afterwards. And the third thing is in the frame, you want to have equal space between the head and the top of the photo as with the feet and the bottom of the photo so to give you an example of a poor shot that would be a poor shot and this would be a poor shot <laughs> as would that you see how the cha the body changes at different angles so the best perspective is at around chest height with an equal distance between top and the bottom and then your position will then change from front, as you can see there with Megan, to a side. Notice the feet together, chest is up, but not pronounced. And it's a somewhat semi-relaxed position. And then facing the rear. And with your, uh, with your feet, just have them underneath your hips. And that's the same for the front face. The point is, don't be afraid to take more shots than one. Uh, spend some time on this. This is going to be really important for you down the track, as I've mentioned earlier. Uh, have the person taking the photo uh, feel comfortable enough to tell you to move to make the shot a little bit better. And yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Cool. Happy photo taking.